in, in Forza Horizon 4. It's the single biggest design paradigm shift in, in, the, in the history of the Horizon series. Um, it goes hand in hand with seasons. Um, the fact that we now have dynamic seasons changing uh, on a weekly basis for all our players, it means that you're no longer at Horizon for a summer. After a week it's going to be autumn and another week it's going to be winter. Um, you are living there now. It's massive how much it alters it because it's really taking that step where it moves from a festival that you just spend the summer and it, it moves it on to it being your new life or maybe the dream life that you might like to live where not only can you buy all of the best cars in the world but you get to buy houses, you get to do a job, um, not a normal job, it'll be a job like a stunt driver or driving ridiculously fast taxis around the world. Um, you get to do everything that you could kind of ever want to do across an entire year of Horizon and, and more. The big question that we asked ourselves during concept, what, what would it actually mean to live at Horizon? I think the big thing that it suggested was you're not going to be doing it on your own, you're not going to be living on your own. This is going to be a world full of people living their Dream Horizon lives uh, alongside you. So that immediately suggested to us a shared world. I think the part, part that I'm most proud of, the part that presented us the most challenges, was probably uh, realising that idea of a shared world without any of the problems. We came into it knowing that it, it, there's a lot of people that can be turned off by that idea. Um, and we wanted to be able to say to all of those people, hey, we, we know the problems, we've fixed the problems, and we think you're going to have a great time. Random players that you see, you can interact with them, you can chat with them, but they can't crash into you while you're trying to nail a drift zone. They can't try and push you out of a place where you're trying to take a photo. Um, and speaking of kind of taking a photo, that's another cool way that we've, we've fixed an issue, which is all of the, the features you might associate with being offline, like photo mode, rewind, pausing the game, you can do all of those while you're connected. So you can rewind, even though there are other players around you and it's all synchronized. Um, you can pause at any point that you want, mid-air, on the ground, and you can use photo mode, um, which is a really cool new addition as well. It's a problem we had to solve, but the, the great thing about that is now the other players are in your photos if you want them to be. So we don't force you to play online. Um, you know, we think it will be a better experience if you do. Uh, but you have the option right from the start to, to opt out a single button press on, on the pause menu. It's really that easy. Where we've been able to really stretch our legs creatively is how can we live up to that promise that your experience will be better through being online? And that's about creating features which allow you to interact with the other players in the world. Um, it allow you to chat, for example, through our quick chat feature. Um, allow you to see what other people are doing, see the events that they're setting up, go and participate with them seamlessly. Um, or the brand new Forzathon Live feature. So Forzathon Live is a really fun way to play the game. Every hour, on the hour, the server says there's a Forzathon Live event starting, um, it marks it on the map, and you can decide to go and take part if you want. You'll be grouped off with other players, you haven't had to sign up, no one has to declare themselves the leader, no one has to say, this is what we're going to do. It's a kind of soft, like friction-free entry into play with other people. And what it does is it tasks you as a group with achieving a target. So there are three rounds and it lasts 15 minutes and if you complete round one, two or three, you'll get a reward that kind of increases based on it. Everybody gets the same reward, it doesn't matter whether you were the worst player or the best player, and we don't kind of make a point of showing people, you were the worst player and this person was the best, it's more of a your group succeeded or they didn't. And what happens is, when round one starts, it will set your waypoint to say a danger sign, and then you'll see you know, up to 11 people all jumping off the danger sign in front of you, tumbling around, desperately kind of trying to bank the score, and you'll see your progress towards the group target. Everyone keeps kind of taking attempts, and then you'll, you'll pass that target and go on to the next one. It's a really cool way of being able to just sit there and take part in the game without ever having to think, what do I do next? I think long-time Horizon players, uh, they've always enjoyed our games because we always offer uh, a great deal of content. I think those players are going to really enjoy the way that we're going to deliver fresh content to them every, every day, every week. Um, we're going to be giving them fresh things to do. And the way that we're going to be generating that content and creating it post-launch allows us to uh, react to the wants and needs of the community. So we can we can listen to people, we can find out what people like, what people are enjoying, what people feel like they're not seeing enough of, and we can bring that to the game and, and deliver it to them. So I think for people who've been playing Horizon for a long time, um, they're going to find that Forza Horizon 4 uh, 
is actually is, is a game that evolves over time and actually meets their needs probably more than any Horizon game in the past. I hope what lands really well with this is um, almost the fact that we have designed this for the players that, that, that we have. You know, we have a lot of data coming in from a, an awful lot of players in Forza Horizon 3. Throughout the development of this game, we've been able to analyze that, observe the way players play. And I think if there's one massive takeaway uh, about you know, Forza players in general, but certainly Horizon players, is that they have many, many different ways of playing. I think what we've done with the Horizon Life is really celebrate that by allowing them to, to progress within the game, to earn rewards, and you know, have meaningful progression by doing practically anything that you can do within the game. You know, so obviously that uh, that includes racing, which is a, is a massive part of our game. It also includes you know, stunting, exploring, drifting, streaming, which is an increasingly um, huge part of, of, of games today. You can now um, progress your game by streaming or even actually by watching. Uh, other people stream the game. We have an incredibly creative community. There are more ways to create in Horizon 4 than, than ever before. You know, if you're a painter or you're a tuner or you're using our expanded uh, set of blueprint tools, you know, to create your own championships or now using the new route creator to create your own routes, that creativity um, can reward you with progression within the game, even if you're not going and doing traditional races. It's a design born out of watching and understanding our players. Um, and I think it makes for the most open, um, most freeing, I think, uh, campaign design we've ever had.